Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another video, and today, uh, we're gonna be playing some more of Vade. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, a uh, fantastic day. And, uh, yeah, today isn't just gonna be, like, a regular Vade video. Today, I'm gonna be giving out some tips and tricks for the game. Alright, not a full-on tutorial, but some tips and tricks. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So, yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. Okay, so the first tip is is this so uh okay so let's say there's like a next spot near some lights here uh then the lights are gonna start flickering on and off so think of the lights as not lights but next spot sensors basically if the basically if the lights detect an next spot uh they're gonna start flickering on and off see see how they're, see how they're flickering on and off like that so yeah, basically, let's say you're like a like a hallway and you're about to turn the corner, and the lights start flickering on and off. It's like a sign that a next spot is down that corner. So like, hey, don't go there. And yeah, and yeah, it's actually very useful most of the time. Okay, I would like to be revived so I can get on with my tutorial. So lodge. Someone help me, come on. Help. Help me, thank you, sir. Okay, so now, uh, so now tip number two is like, okay, let's say you've like accidentally bumped into something and you lose all your momentum. What you can do is you can kind of hug against like a wall or like a gate like this or something, and then you can gain all your momentum back in like half a second. It's actually very useful for when you're like chase for when you're like getting chased by next bots, like, somewhere here so yeah you see like, like i like i i bumped into something then i then i just hug against the wall or windows to gain all my momentum back so, yeah that's very useful and yeah tip number three but by the way guys these are going to be like five really pro tips that are going to be very useful in game Okay, so when you're trying to like break down doors by like sliding into them, uh, instead of instead of sliding into them like this, uh, it's better to jump. It's better to jump and slide. Right. So instead of just sliding into the door by just pressing control, it's better to jump and then press control. Because it's a lot more efficient and it'll save momentum. So yeah, uh, go on. Yeah, tip number four is if you're trying to juke PNGs in like a hallway or something, do it like this. No. What? See? Okay, so here, here, here's the perfect example. So first, I go. To I did not have enough momentum. Okay, I would like to be revived now. Okay, that's kind of sad. But yeah, so basically, if there's, like, a next spot, like, okay, so let's say you're, like, in the middle of a hallway, right? Like, okay, so the road is the hallway, and you're in the middle, and you see a next spot right ahead. You're going to want to go to the right, or, sorry, left, and then, and then when the next spot is, like, is, like, starting to come towards you, you, you do kind of, like, a twirl, or like, kind of, like, a half U-turn. Then you kind of twirl to the right. All right, like that. So, so basically, okay. So basically, let's say there's an next spot. Like, like the whole sequence looks like that. Okay, wait, perfect example here. I gotta, I gotta align, I gotta align the next spot. Okay, here. You see, the, I think, I think you understand. I think you understand what I'm on about. Come on, it's safe. Come on. Here, okay, like, okay, so let's say, uh, okay. 
Alright, come here, next spot. I need to try and get him in place. Okay, so here. Oh my god, just get on the road, you stupid. Alright, come here, come here, come here. Okay, I'm just gonna make an example here. Come on, okay, you know what? Fuck it. I think you want, I think you guys understand what I'm on about. Okay, so yeah. Uh, that was tip number three, I think, right? No, no, tip number four. Was it tip number four or tip number three? Um, I uh, know, tip number four, sorry. So yeah, that was tip number four. And also here, here's, here's tip number five. So when you, so when you're reviving someone, what you can do is you can revive them until halfway and then just go, and then just move away from them and then they'll instantly be revived. This is pro and yeah, that is probably and yeah, tip number five is probably the most useful tip out of all of them. Because you're literally able to revive a player in half in like in half the time than you would normally would have to. So yeah, don't buy freaking like stethoscope or whatever it's called. Just simply do this tip. Because you can revive people 50% faster without even a character. So yeah, what? By the way, guys, also here's a tip when you're like hugging against something to go faster. Like, like put your camera at like kind of that, at like kind of like a 45 degree angle, and then hold A and D at the same time. See how much faster I'm going? See how much faster I'm going than the next bots? So yeah, uh, yeah, so, but yeah, uh, that was actually five tips, or six, yeah, six, so yeah, uh, hope, so yeah, uh, I hope it was helpful, and, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, smash that like button, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications, if you never want to miss any of my future videos, and I will see you later, goodbye.